Welcome to NAB Show 2024. The preeminent event for the entire media and broadcast industry. Right here in Las Vegas. So Mickey, it's day two of NAB. How's it going so far? Uh, it's been going fantastic. The crowds are great. The weather's been nice. It's great back to be in Vegas. So much technology that's being introduced and we're proud to be a part of it. Amazing, sounds fantastic. So tell me, how is Vizlink positioned in the marketplace? We feel we've got a great spot. I mean, we're the gateway of the internet, and the great gateway to the cloud. And so much is about cloud and AI. And we've got so much technology that we've invested in over the last three years. And now we have a chance to introduce just one more element, two more elements of that complete solution that allows our customers to do what they do best. So what are you showcasing here this year at NAB? Well, to, uh, to add to our transmitter capability, we've introduced the Dragonfly. This is uh, 52 and a half grams of incredible power. This basically allows you to do point of view shots uh, from helmet cams, from body cams, from drones, uh, for stadium use, or even for body worn uses for public safety. Anywhere where you, you have to get that real immersive, real explosive shot, this allows you to do it very succinctly, very uh, low cost, and uh, very efficiently. So we're really excited about this. This is the world's smallest transmitter for point of view type applications. Very impressive. What else do you have there? Next in the lineup is our click. Our click allows you to do uh, effectively the same. This is uh, two feeds of audio feeds, 1080p, HDR60, as well as two uh, I'm sorry, two audio feeds as well as two video feeds of 1080p 60. So we're really excited about this. We introduced this last year. It's been um, a real successful launch for us. Now we add to it the Dragonfly capability. So we allow our customers to basically have whatever type of transmitter they need, whatever type of receiver, and then the overlay of software and AI to be able to manage those elements and to be able to add AI capability to their productions, uh, we think is hugely valuable. Fully comprehensive, and what else do you have here? And our last is our Live Link. This is a, this particular one is six sim. This is again a gateway to the cloud uh, for any type of production over the public internet. Uh, whereas these go both over proprietary Coftum solutions or 5G private networks, this goes over public networks and allows you to bond up to eight, uh, six, four, or two um, sims to allow you to get whatever type of capacity you need to achieve for your production. So this is great. Uh, latencies are a little bit higher since it's over the public internet than what you would get out of this. But for many productions, it's good enough and allows you to have a very um, um, mobile, in all cases, and very efficient production. Mickey, tell me about the trends that are unfolding in the industry right now and how you relate to that. Well, I think you know, the things we've heard about over the last couple NABs is about the cloud. We're now really seeing that in action. We've seen many major brands uh, do complete productions in the cloud. So the ability to access the cloud is important. Uh, so that's number one. Number two, we're seeing more around AI um, and what AI can do for the production, what AI can do to bring more value to the consumer. And then I think the things we're starting to hear more about is cyber, you know, deep fakes. Do you have the algorithms and the encryption capability to be able to uh, detour bad actors from doing some crazy things with the production? So I think we have all those areas covered. We'll continue to invest in those areas. As VizLink, we not only support the broadcasting and content owner marketplace, but we also are heavily involved in military and public safety. So we use those same technologies to provide those value for uh, both segments. And on that note, what does the future look like for Vizlink? Uh, we're, we're really happy where we are. We've got uh, significant amounts of capital, uh, almost 20 million of cash. Uh, we've got uh, um, a forecast to grow significantly uh, in the markets that we serve. We're growing this year. Uh, our first quarter was our best quarter uh, in some time. I'm sorry, our fourth quarter. Uh, we had a great fourth quarter. Uh, we announced at our fourth quarter earnings that we have our highest backlog and uh, um, a tremendous order, order quarter for the first quarter. So we're really excited and we're continuing to see that go. And NAB's only helping that. Very exciting times for you. Thanks so much, Mickey. Have a great show. Thank you. Really enjoyed it.